chains, why? And were the chain I forged in life, I made it link by link and yard by yard. Do you recognize its pattern? Can you imagine the weight and length of the chain you bear? It was as heavy and long as this seven Christmas Eves ago. Yours is a ponderous chain. Jacob, tell me no more. Speak comfort to me, Jacob. I have none to give. I cannot stay. I cannot linger anywhere. Mark me. In life, my spirit never walked beyond our counting house, never roved beyond the narrow limits of a money changing hole. Now, an endless journey sly before me. Seven years dead, and traveling all the time. No time, no rest, no peace. Have covered a lot of ground in seven years. Oh, no! I was blind! Blind and could not see my own life squandered and misused. Oh, oh, oh woe is me! But you were always a good man of business. Business! <laughs> and I was my business. The common welfare was my business. Charity, mercy, forbearance, and benevolence were all my business. Hear me. My time is nearly gone. I will. But don't be hard upon me, Jacob. Please. I am here to warn you that you have yet a chance and a hope of escaping my fate. A chance of my procuring Ebenezer. You were always a good friend to me, Jacob. Thank you. You will be haunted by three spirits. The chance and hope. Rather not. Expect the first tomorrow when the bell tolls one. Can't I take them all at once and have it over with, Jacob? Expect the second the next night at the same hour. The third upon the next night when the last stroke of twelve has ceased to vibrate. Look to see me no more. I wish I could help you. You, the spirit, whose coming was foretold to me? I am. Is it possible that you might put your cap on? Your soul soon put out with your worldly hands the light. I No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. I meant nothing by it. I meant no offense. I just thought I. Who and what are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Long past? Your past. Rise and walk with me. The immortal and able to fall. Bear but a touch of my hand there. And you shall be upheld in more than this. Good heavens. I was bred in this place. I was a boy here. Your lamp is trembling. And what's that? Oh, on your cheek. Nothing. There's something in my eye. You remember the way? <laughs> remember it. I could walk it blindfolded. These are but shadows of things that have been. They have no consciousness of us. Do they? Oh, every one of them. They were schoolmates of mine. Let's go on. 
this. This was my school. This school is not quite deserted. A solitary child, neglected by his friends. I know. Boy. Poor, poor boy. Let's see another Christmas. Avenida! Avenida! Dear, dear brother, I've come to bring you home! Home, little fanny? kinder than he used to be. He spoke so gently to me one night. I was not afraid to ask him if you might come home. And he said yes. And he sent me in a coach to fetch you. And we're to be together all the Christmas long. And have the merriest time in all the world. You're quite a woman, little fan. She had a large heart. She died a woman. And had, as I think, children. Yes, one child. True. Your nephew. Yes. Do you know this place? <laughs> know it! I was an apprentice here. It's old Fezziwig. Bless his heart, it's Fezziwig alive again. Oh! Ebenezer, come on! Come on! Dick, come on! <laughs> Six o'clock! We're going to be here soon! <laughs> Dick Wilkinson. Bless me, yes, there he is, Dick Wilkinson. He was very attached to me, was Dick. <laughs> yes! Oh, me lads! No more work tonight! It's Christmas Eve! Hooray! Dick, Ebenezer, let's get cleared away. We've got lots of space. Lots yes. and lots of space! <laughs> Well done! Well done! Now, kind fiddler, if you please, it is time for Sir Roger de Coverley! Another idol has replaced me. Another idol. What idol? A golden one. There is nothing on this earth more terrifying to me than a life doomed to poverty. May I ask why do you condemn with such severity the honor?